Hi, my name is Dr. Jocelyn Kelly, and I direct the program on gender, rights, and resilience at the Harvard Humanitarian Initiative. In 2020, the United Nations reported the highest number of displaced persons ever recorded, and the number of global conflicts is high and rising. Climate change will only exacerbate these trends. As part of a larger project with the World Bank and UNHCR, my team and I developed a novel method to track how conflict and displacement are related to different forms of gender-based violence. Looking at places as diverse as Colombia, Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Liberia, we found some key takeaways. Firstly, that both conflict and displacement each independently increase the risk of multiple forms of gender-based violence, including non-partner rape and intimate partner violence. The second takeaway is that the impact of violence can have hidden and insidious effects years after formal peace is declared. One way to think about this is that public violence turns into private violence and be can be harder to identify. We know that women bear the brunt of conflict, but they are often systematically excluded from the development of peace processes. This has to change. As part of humanitarian state and peace building efforts, women have to be acknowledged as vital actors in peace processes and post-conflict reconstruction programming. And holistic programs to address violence must occur well after the end of conflict violence in order to be break cycles of um, community instability that we often see when gender-based violence occurs. Thank you.